Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you very much for being an electric. I appreciate that. So this is a mechanical pneumatic timer. Okay. So this timer is majorly uh, used in the electrical uh, circuits. So I want us to to also look at the comparison uh, of the, its counterpart, the electronic timer. Okay. So this is mechanical and it's very uh, brief. Of course, it is limited, okay, uh, to some functions. So for it, it's only closing and opens, okay. This has got uh, a lot of functions. It has a wide range of time here. Uh, this has got 1 to 30 seconds, okay. But though when you're selecting it, depending on your time need, you can get you know different time uh uh scale okay so you can get maybe which is one minute to 30 minutes so it depends really on what kind of time uh, uh time scale that you want so this specifically it's an only it's not like this one where you can do off delay and only this is specifically only though you can buy off delay if that's what you need Okay, so this timer here, it will major work uh, on star delta starter. Okay, so if you have a star delta starter, usually we did a video uh, with this timer here. We we'll also do a video in future using this timer. So how can you use this timer? So you have, this is a dial. Okay, this is a dial which has got a time scale here, 1 to 30 seconds. So you have got this point here, you see, plus or minus. Okay, so meaning plus, that's when you're, you know, you'll be increasing your, your time here on your time scale. Minus, of course, you reduce. Okay, so from 1 second uh, to 30 seconds. Okay. So because this does not use electricity, so it need it uses uh, mechanical uh, power. So a mechanical force has to be, you know, pressed upon uh, this uh, mechanical switch here uh, downwards for the timer to start, you know, uh, counting. So we have got two contacts here, normally open and normally uh, closed. Okay. So right now, if if you take your multimeter and put this in uh, so and put that in your continuity okay right there so if you measure here so that is closed and then this is open and this is uh, closed, okay? All right, so if uh, the moment you apply the, the force here, now that means because it's an on delay, uh, it's an on delay timer, so it will start counting the time that you've set. Now, if that time elapses, it will close this normally closed and open this normal it will close this normally open and then open this normally closed so that makes it suitable for a star delta starter because in in star delta starter uh the circuit start with the star closed okay then after the set period of time the star is de-energized and the delta energizes so this makes it perfect uh for that because there is no uh, electronic circuit here that can fail, okay? Uh, you know, things are mechanical, so it makes it ideal uh, for, you know, for, for that purpose of... For that purpose of, uh, you know, changing from star to data or from uh, opening one contact and closing uh, the other, okay? All right, so let us see. So we have got uh, a fan here 
So let us see how that works. So uh, the other thing is uh, because this guy is actuated by the contactor, we talked about the pressure, uh, you know, being pressed on this contact here, pulled downwards that activates the time. So what activates it is the contactor itself. Okay. So uh, you have to remove uh, the auxiliary, you repress it with this. They are alike. So both have got the lock uh, switch here, okay? You just slide it the same. So here, and done, okay? So every time you press this, you realize that you have something uh, which is moving here, which activates the, the counting, okay? All right, so uh, because we want to test everything so uh, I'll show you here this so if we start with normally closed okay so we have our wire here does so you realize that uh, our fan you know uh, started to run right away why because this is a normally uh, open I mean a normally closed contact so let us uh, set our timer here in about uh, in about uh, this is uh, one three so in about three seconds okay yeah so let's say about uh, five maybe yeah around there let us or let us do uh, three seconds right there okay so I have already connected my contactor and the supply. I just need to switch on. So that means that if I switch on this contactor, the moment it activates, the time will start to count right there and then it will disconnect this uh, fan here. Okay. So let's see. so right there okay so that's about uh four seconds let me, i mean three seconds let me reduce a little bit yeah around there so our fan went off the moment we energized the contactor so if i switch off this contactor that fan will start to run right away because now the normally closed will now return its, its original position which is closed okay so switch on the contactor the time is counted and then so you had even that click so you see our fan uh the energizers all right so let us see that with normally uh open okay Okay, so the same time I've connected, they normally open. So I'll energize the same contactor and it will have, uh, because it had an on delay, so it will count three, those three seconds, and then it starts the fan. So right there, the timer is not, uh, uh -huh, it has closed. Okay. So basically you've seen that uh, this has to be actu uh, actuated by the contact. So if you need to use a timer, 
So, you know, running a fan like that, uh, you may not require to use a mechanical time because you're going to use a contactor. But if you're, you're controlling contactors like a star delta starter, then it makes a lot of sense, okay? Doing that, eliminating uh, these many uh, components into your circuit and having uh, an ideal uh, timer seated on the contactor which contact is also in action okay all right so there you go that's how uh, a mechanical timer is used so we are going to have another video we will use the same timer uh you know we use the same timer to connect and uh, see how it works with the star delta uh, starter thank you very much for watching i really appreciate your time here don't forget to subscribe uh, to like and to share also until next time, I'm out.